So similar to CSRF, we're not going to be able to do too much with the WAF here, but we can at least provide some basic enforcement and essentially some definition to the web application. So go ahead and generate our ID here and go ahead and pull this, take note, post. So we have our response cookies, DVWA session two. And just for the heck of it, the point behind this example within DVWA, we can see here, clicking it in multiple successions increases the session ID. Then we have the value, which is, you know, a separate cookie. And then we can go ahead and take this one. Let me highlight correctly. And we'll throw it over here. Do a character count. 202. As you saw, I already had one there. 202. So we'll go ahead and generate one more. And count that. And 202 again. So we can make some assumptions here that it will always be 202 characters long and alphanumeric, and certainly DVWA, we see it incrementing by one, so numeric value, but what limit does exist? Well, this we don't know. Is it probably more than 10? Probably. I mean, if you only allow 10 people to log into your site, then I mean, totally cap it to 10. But if you have a multi-user site, more enterprise related, chances are you have several million user IDs, you know, thousands to millions. Who knows, maybe even billions, but probably more like in between thousands to millions. Point in case, value here of a single digit probably wouldn't be a single digit in those cases. Um, hence why corporations usually use a much more unique strategy when setting a session ID. Nonetheless, what we could do here is just kind of define these cookies. And also we see here a request came with the PHP session ID. So we can certainly protect that and security, but how can we protect them? Well, we can come over here under the headers and cookies section, and we can go ahead and build out the cookies. Now, I'm not gonna explain the difference between enforced versus allowed, kind of a very, very F5 specific, but I prefer it allowed because I can control attack signatures and override them as need be. So we'll go here and we'll go ahead and create our cookies. So DVWA session, DVWA session, and it's an allowed form staging, no. Now we can insert the HTTP attribute, but, and we can also insert the same site and the secure attributes, but you have to keep in mind uh, this is something that actually does manipulate traffic. So everything we've covered so far will allow or block the traffic, but it does not alter it. In this case, this actually does. So it may seem cool to go ahead and inject these attributes as you would like to, to ensure security, but could it break the web app? Very potentially, if they're not expecting it, if they're looking at the cookies in a different way, just a myriad of possibilities of reasons why this could really not work out in your favor, but doesn't change the fact that you do have the ability to insert them here, and it is a good idea. So this is something you have to be very careful on, but is it a good idea to ask your app dev teams if, you, if they'd like you to do this? Absolutely. So uh, again, kind of a FI specific element here, but some other WAFs do offer this. Take note, we don't have character control or length control. So kind of some of those examples where I was talking about the length of the actual value, that sounded super cool, but uh, we don't have those controls here. Why? I don't know. Uh, FI just never developed them. Uh, one case, I mean, we can create some other methods to control this, such as custom signatures, I rules, custom rules for other WAFs, just kind of depends. But in our case, uh, very limited in what we can do, but we can at least, as you see, have all the signatures apply. Now, as we said earlier, we're not going to use attack signatures. 
this is essentially the only degree of control and protection that we can provide for the cookie in itself and beyond again the session aspect which again is more of an advanced feature so not relative so not too much we can do here but at least a little bit to put something in there and certainly to show you a few of the options available just because well should i just skip this section you would ask why so i have to show you something all right let's go ahead and create the uh, other ones so php sesh id now one thing i also forgot to mention here very important for the f5 this actually is case sensitive for cookies regardless of the policy setup so that can bite you false expectations Either way, we'll go ahead and create this one. And as you see, it didn't lowercase it like the other one. So yes, it truly is case sensitive here. And for that matter, let's make sure I got the correct one because I just realized DBWA capital S. So close. But these are just uh, important things to keep in mind as you go to build out these policies because so had I created that and had I have uh, ran with it without correcting it, then I would have had false expectations believing, oops, believing that the WAF would do something when in all reality, it wouldn't match this. It, so had I created signature exclusions for this one, then it actually wouldn't apply because it's not the correct case. So the match didn't occur. So again, despite case insensitivity, sometimes even though the holistic policy is set to case insensitive, there are elements that could actually not necessarily be true for the case sensitivity aspect. And this is um, relative to some other WAFs. Um, so it's not just an F5 kind of thing. So something to just keep in mind, always be aware of what values, inputs, and how the controls for your WAF works. Every page could be kind of different because developers throughout the time usually developed these bolt-on components as the WAF matured and was created. So team one may not be there anymore or may have worked on a separate team might have worked on a separate function, which is certainly likely as well. And so there's just usually different feels um, sometimes for different functions. Uh, very possible. So just things to keep in mind as you go through your WAF life. So that would be the two that we're going to protect there. And as said, uh, that's pretty much the extent of what we can do here beyond some pretty more advanced controls that we could implement, but we're not covering that today. So our next is going to be file upload. And here we go. I'm not too worried about this because we'll still get the basic functionality of what we're going for. Oops. Thank you, demo gods. 